So our last video was about the digital lensometer and in that video we have learned that how we can find the spherical correction, how we can find the cylindrical correction, the sapphire cylindrical correction, the axis of the cylinder, how we can mark the axis on a blank. But in this current video we are going to learn that how we can find the power, spherical power, cylindrical power, axis of the cylinder, the addition in progressive addition lenses and in the bifocals. Now you can see this is Topcon digital lensometer and these are different parts and the model number is CL.300 this is computerized lensometer and you can see the different parts of this digital lensometer right and this is screen the red light is on it means that our lensometer is off and if I press this button the green light is on right now and you can see our Topcon digital lensometer is switched on so this is screen now we have different settings over there the first button is for setting and if you press you can see the different settings you can change the lens display progressive this is setting for progressive you can change this is for memory near memory right these are different settings over here and the next is for the cylindrical form you want cylinder in plus form or in minus form you can transpose the value right next one this is setting for plus and minus cylinder this is your choice you want cylinder in plus or in minus the next is the step you want to go for a 0.01 step 0.12 step or 0.25 but 0.25 step is fine so this is for the prisms right if your prescription carry the prism you can go for it this is for ultraviolet detection you can check the ultraviolet property of the lens over here this is for print and if you press the button you can see the printout over here right so there is no lens so values are in zero right and the next one is clear button this is if you want to clear all the settings over here so this is spherical cylinder axis so these are some settings and now we'll discuss about the different parts you can see this is lens holder we can fix our lens over here this is for the axis marking these are markers you can mark your axis with these and this is lens bracket we will put the lens over here or blank and this one is the lens lever you can fix your blank or spectacles or lens over here so it is unable it will be unable to move now we will start the lensometry we have a lens we have a blank and we don't know that this lens is sapphire cylinder or sapphire cylinder now we will put the lens at lens bracket and will I can use my single hand and when I put the lens you can see this plus sign and when I will move the lens or blank that plus sign is moving and now I have to align this lens at the center to find out the optical center we have discussed in the last videos right so you can see our lens is totally aligned the alignment is okay the lens is well centered and the power you can see the lens is just spherical which is 1.75 so our lens blank is well adjusted with the help of the lens holder and lever right and you can see this is properly well adjusted right your optical center should be there and as you can see this is well centered and the power is plus 1.75 right and you can mark your axis if you want or you can find the optical center right so we have mark our three dots on the surface of the lens so now another lens which is bifocal you can see the FTD the flat top T now you can see very clearly this is flat top T this is bifocal blank and now we will learn that how we can find the power 
of distance and near segment right so i will put the lens beneath the lens holder and i will find my optical center the distant optical center the main lens and as you can see this is well centered i'm moving the lens and you can see let me correct let me put it at the exactly at the center i am moving the lens you can see so by moving the lens i will unable to find my optical center here we go so our marking is okay right now and lens is well centered and power is plus 2.25 with minus one cylinder and axis are 77 right almost 80 so this is for distance and now i will find the power in the segment in the near portion right so i will move the lens i will go beneath the bot in the bottom of the lens so i can find the addition right so i will move the lens to find the near optical center right so i am moving the lens so i can find my near visual point in the near segment of the flat top d and as you can see now the power is plus 4.75 with minus 0 0.75 cylinder with the same axis the axis and cylinder is the same we have nothing to do with and at near vision the power is 4.75 and last time at distance was plus 2.25 so our addition would be plus 2.50 right so we have another lens which is called the progressive addition lenses you can see the different parts over there on the progressive addition lens right this is called progressive addition lens right which has three different compartments distance intermediate and near right so now we will discuss about the different segments of the EAL so this is for the distance and this plus sign you can see I can show here this plus sign is the optical center for the distance right or the central point for the distance vision right and now this portion I'm marking this portion is the near corridor right the intermediate right this this one and this circle is for the near vision so progressive addition lenses has three different compartments right and now this is for the left eye you can see the L over here so this is for the and here I'm marking the black the addition power is engraved in the lens over here you can see this is for the model of the progressive edition lens or the brand name over there so I will put my progressive edition lens beneath the lens holder so first I will change the setting and here we go this is for the progressive settings right last time we were on the single vision and this is for the progressive edition lens I have put the lens right and on the screen again I have put this plus sign beneath the lens holder and I will change the setting again this is for single vision and this is for the progressive edition lenses right so, I will, so give, you can see on the screen right now as you can see the plus spherical plus 3.25 spherical with cylinder minus 2 and axis are 87 almost 90 degree so now for the reading I will put this circle beneath the lens holder right there right so you can see on the screen the plus sign you can see in the center it should be at exactly at the center and the addition is plus 2.50 so in this way we can find near addition and distance in the PALs. So I hope all the concepts regarding the bifocals, progressive addition lenses and single vision lenses with respect to the digital lensometer are clear. We'll see you in the next videos.